Machine Works, we build differential covers for the off-road industry. It's a family-owned business. My boys work here. I got three of them. They come in, they help me do the products. We're actually at my house. Everything is set up in our garage. Anything that we do from prototype into production is all done right here. The great thing about SolidWorks is it allows me to take anything that's inside my head, right? It's a design I'm thinking about or I'm looking at a vehicle and I'm like, that really needs something different. And it allows me to open up a screen and start creating a model. I chose a diff cover because it seemed like the most important thing to me on a vehicle. Because everything inside the differential is extremely important. We built in what you could call like ribs, like rock sliders, all inside the actual differential cover. So the whole cover is a quarter inch thick. And then right in here, you have a half inch rib and it's a half inch thick which allows for this to be rubbed off and beat up and it doesn't get into your differential area when you're off-roading. Anybody can put these on. You don't have to do any extra work to it. So basically you can just unbolt the cover you have, clean off the surface, prep it, put everything you need to put it back on, and it's just a couple of bolts. SolidWorks simulation saved me a lot of time from having to build prototype after prototype after prototype and testing it because it gave me the opportunity to test it inside an environment to where I could see exactly what was going to fail. So it gave me the opportunity to make sure I was going to build a product that I knew would withstand and hold up in a, inside of our market. By the time I got everything set up and ready to go, I built wood products. That way I could go out and I could test them. By doing it out of wood first, it gave me the option to tune the product in that I thought was better. So let's say I went in and I got all the prototype done, and, but yet when I went to a vehicle with the wood part, it needed to be a little bit less clearance. Maybe I had to move a sixteenth of an inch in because a cross member or something was going to come down on it. SolidWorks Cam didn't make me reprogram the part over and over again. So when I changed the SolidWorks model, the cam portion would automatically update. As a business owner, the thing I really like about the SolidWorks CAM environment is it actually allows me to figure out the cost of my tooling in a virtual environment before I even cut it on the CNC machine. Because when you start turning on CNC equipment, you have electricity, you have tools, you have fixturing, you have all this stuff. So SolidWorks allows me to put my whole thought into a computer first and being able to take that virtually and turn it into a reality later on down the road. Without a tool like SolidWorks, I could never get what's in my head to reality. This design, I started back in February, and by March, I actually had my first product out. In the last seven months, I've actually come up with five different products, which is really unheard of in my industry. And that's gonna keep growing and growing. 